Nasolabial and marionette lines after facelift, necklift, and fat grafting. What can I do to improve my appearance? I am 54 years old. I look younger than my age. I had facelift, necklift, and fat grafting two months ago. Now my nasolabial lines and marionette lines are so deep and obvious. My chin looks weird. I look sad and older. I am depressed. What can I do to improve my appearance? Thank you for your question. You're 54 years old. You state that you look younger than your age. You had facelift surgery done two months ago with fat grafting. And you're observing that your nasolabial folds and your marionette lines are looking deep and that you're, you're concerned about this. So the, the, the question really is, is where will your um, face, what will your face look like after some of this swelling has resolved? This is a question certainly you and your doctor can discuss. When you think about facelifting surgery, facelifting surgery is to reposition sagging skin to improve jowls, soften marionette lines, soften in some patients the nasolabial fold. Now, if you look at your preoperative photos and you recognize that there is an improvement, you can also recognize that at the two-month point, some degree of swelling is probably present. With any surgical procedure, uh, swelling can become, can be a factor in how these areas look for six months to a year. And when you think about the nasolabial folds and the marionette lines, what makes them prominent? Well, the depth relative to the adjacent height. Now, why do these areas become prominent? Well, I wrote a book a few years ago called The Fine Art of Looking Younger. And explaining the f two elements of facial aging will help make this clear to for you. There is sagging, which is loosening of skin and the support tissue. You address that with your facelift procedure. The other part of the equation is volume loss. Bone, muscle, and fat, skin, soft tissue, resorbs. And I've always observed that in women, this particular area, the lower third of the face, has a significant amount of volume loss, which results in loss of lip definition, vertical lines, nasolabial uh, and mesolabial or marionette line becoming deeper, the indentation of the mandibular notch which makes the jowls more prominent. So that being said, you can probably have a strategy with your doctor that will help address volume loss, but after, usually in my practice, I say let's wait till swelling has resolved so that we can address volume loss. And I always try to explain that before the procedure. What I do is I actually have them uh, hold a mirror and I lift the face and I point out to the patient that the mesolabial fold, the nasolabial fold are improved, but there is still some depth. So I say, well, we will then reevaluate because when we change the whole architecture, then the, the, the perception of the face changes and you may zero in on these areas but certainly don't lose hope I think that there will be options that will help you even look even younger than your age that, as you've already expressed so talk to your doctor discuss your concerns and I think that you will find solutions that will be satisfactory to you so I hope that was helpful I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question